as we've been reporting, over 100 million customers affected by the recent Target breach, including some right here in the Valley. Yep, tonight a McAllen woman tells us charges of over $1,000 have put her in the red. Action Force Daisy Barrera has her call for action tonight. The unauthorized charges were made miles away in Seguin, Texas, but Estella McGee didn't even realize her account had been hacked until her bank called with the bad news that she'd been one of millions of unlucky Target customers. The turkey and fixins had been eaten and the Christmas gift list was checked off. We shopped at Target. Black Friday was a hit for Estella McGee. That is until she discovered that it was her bank account that took the real hit, but not because of her own purchases. First two times were just a dollar. Second time was like 280 something dollars. The second one was $750. McGee's information had been stolen after shopping at this Target on Ware Road. She joined the list of millions of customers whose information was breached in December. It was Frost Bank that notified her of these suspicious charges that had been made 250 miles away in Seguin. McKee had little choice but to cancel her card and wait for a new one, but she says freezing her account over the holidays has been more than a headache. I had to go through a bunch of stuff and I'm still finding that I skipped this or that when I get contacted that my card is no good. It was embarrassing. It was very embarrassing. McKee says Frost Bank continues to monitor her account and investigating the case. Just Sunday, McAllen police arrested Daniel Dominguez Guardiola and Carmen Vaquera Garcia, both from Monterrey. That's for creating fraudulent cards linked to the target breach. Today, they released a list of the banks believed to be linked to those cards. It's scary. It really is. If You feel violated. McKee is frustrated and upset over the situation. She's even resorted to doing things the old-fashioned way. I don't like carrying cash because to me it's dangerous and so I'm just like should we go back to checks you know I don't know really what to do I always second think it when I'm going to pay for something or I try to go and get cash out. Luckily McKee has been reimbursed by her bank the message for these hackers she says they need to get a job and stop messing with people who work hard for their money in the studio Daisy Barrera action for news McAllen police tell us the case with the Monterrey couple is ongoing and more charges even more arrests could follow we have extensive coverage on the security breach of target on valleycentral.com.